So what's upsetting Charlie Brooker? Uh, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> anything I don't want to do. Now, I recognise this is quite a broad one. Mm. Um, and it's a category that I find has expanded the older I get, basically. There's a rule, there's a basic rule of thumb that I think is it was called Sturgeon's Law. It usually applies to film and uh, TV and literature that 90% of everything is rubbish and isn't <laughs> worth bothering with. I don't want it. Most places aren't worth going to. Most conversations aren't worth having. <laughs> most things aren't worth eating. Most items and objects in the world aren't worth looking at or <laughs> contemplating. I don't want to go to a forest or, or, or a picnic or watch your play or, or <laughs> read a book. Because it's not worth doing. And it really comes into focus um, at weekends. And you can't just apparently sit around in the house just staring at a phone all the time, because that's sort of bad. And the kids know this as well, because they've discovered iPads and phones, and everyone would rather be looking at those all the time, obviously. <laughs> but because out of a sense of duty and guilt, you end up going to a playground or on a picnic or to a bloody museum. And most things aren't worth bothering with. OK. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, I've, I would say that often there are things you, you think you aren't going to enjoy, and then when you do do them, you actually find that they're much more pleasurable than you thought. But and I have to say, I've used that line a few times. <laughs> <laughs> what about the theory of deferred gratification? Is that you do something you don't want to do now because you'll get the reward at some point in the future. I'll give you an example. When I take... If I'm wearing a jumper... Right. When I take it off, I always pull the sleeves out the right way again. And I think, when I come back to this jumper... ..set to go. <laughs> That's bleak. That is the bleakest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Coming from Charlie Brooker, I took that as an enormous compliment. Is that, <laughs> is that what... That's a thing that... that that's, that's, a, that's the first place you go to when I talk about pleasure, is you think about the <laughs> thing you do with the arms I'm of your jumper. talking about thinking ahead to make my life sweeter at a later date. <laughs> jumper preparation. <laughs> I feel like you need a hug. <laughs> like a proper oh. hug. But if you're only enjoying 90... Well, sorry, 2% of your life... It's not that I'm... It's not that I'm not enjoying... The, it's just that the rest of it isn't probably worth bothering with. It would have made no difference to my quality of life if 98% of things hadn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> How did you decide on the 2%, though? Uh, there's probably... There's probably a couple of desserts I've had I've liked. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably the birth of my children. <laughs> Good, that's a good one. I'd to put probably in there. put yeah, that yeah, yeah. somewhere in there. I tell you what, I would say. I agree with you that I don't think we should do things because other people think we should do them. I'd agree with that. I mean, uh, take this picture of a, a lovely beach holiday. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I respect that. that goth. I love that. <laughs> That's and brilliant. No, yeah. Like, no, no, I don't do bikinis. Can you I'm imagine it? it? And the money she saved on suntan lotion. <laughs> <laughs> what about this painter and decorator who uh, didn't want to move some boxes? <laughs> <laughs> you see what your attitude does to the world, Charlie? <laughs> That's more interesting than a plain wall, though, isn't it? That's an admirable spirit. Well, we are, the idea of uh, doing what you don't want to do... We've got an, uh, an example here of a dad trying to persuade his child to do something they don't want to do, and it shows with a bit of clever thought. You, it's amazing what you can achieve. Mum. No. Oh, coming in, though. Aquí. No, coming in, though. Caminando. Aquí. No. Aquí. No. Sí. No. Sí. Sí. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I just think you're liable. If you don't do things you don't want to do, you're liable to not make fabulous discoveries. Like, I recently went camping 
Oh. And they asked oh, me to... No, yeah. Come on. That's a bad one to pick. That's not it. That's not my... <laughs> and they asked me to build a bonfire. And I thought, oh, I really don't want to build a bonfire. I built a bonfire. I loved it. I, I, I stared at that bonfire for an hour and a half. <laughs> if I had the choice between Netflix and a bonfire, <laughs> I would rather have a bonfire. <laughs> and I would not have discovered that if I'd adopted your attitude of, no, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, speaking of, I've got a show on Netflix, so up yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've got several shows on the bonfire. <laughs> 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 okay.